guys, welcome to today's workout. It is going to be cardio and then strength afterwards. So it'll be about 30 minutes of cardio. I'll throw in some bursts there, but it'll be um, a variety of different types of cardio moves. Um, some high low, some kickboxing, and some cardio bursts. And then after that, we're gonna do some strength. So it'll be compound exercises using a set of dumbbells, a stability ball, and a fitness loop. So let's get started with a little warm up. We're gonna start out with jumping jacks. If you don't want to start out with those jacks, remember to tap out. Abs are nice and tight. Eight more is eight. Seven, six, four, three. We're going to go right down and up to a squat. All the moves I'll be showing today can be done high or low, but there will be some bursts. Um, where we'll be working a little bit harder for about 30 to 40 seconds. Abs are in nice and tight here. Drop those hips down. One more is four. Three. Two. Give me a little jump rope. Feet together. Warming up those calves a little bit. It's not a jump. You're really barely lifting up off the floor here. <clears throat> Getting that blood flowing, getting that heart rate up a little bit. Eight, seven, six, four, three. Give me a step touch this way. Sink it down a little bit. Four, three. Give me a hamstring curl right here. <clears throat> Lift that heel up. Really pump those arms here. Warm up the shoulders, chest, and back. Pull it down from the top. Let's swing those arms out. And give me an upright row with a toe tap. Again, warming up those shoulders, keeping that core nice and tight. Four more. March it out. Feel nice and light on your feet here. Pump those arms, get those knees up. Eight more. We're gonna do a side to side squat. Starting this side, here we go. Other side. Just a lateral squat. Hips are back. Getting those inner and outer thighs a little warmer. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Give me that little jump rope again. And let's take it to a little twist here. Abs are in. Feeling that heart rate go back. Go up. <laughs> I'm thinking about my next move. Four more. We're going to do a squat down and up right here. And we're going to add in some lunges. So we're going to do alternating rear lunges going back. Here we go. Chest is up. Pressing into that front heel. Warming up those hip flexors a little bit. And instead of going back, we're going to take it to a side lunge, side to side. Sending those hips back. Warming up that inner thigh. Reaching down towards the floor. Four more. Three. Two. And march it out. Good job. It should be nice and warm. Grab some water. We're going to get started. All right. A little high-low here. A little light on your feet. We're going to do a hamstring curl. Dig those arms. Now you can bring this up and back a little bit. Good 
take it back. Take it up. Take it back. Let's bring it up for four. Four. Three, give me a jumping jack back. This side, bring it up for four. Jack it back. This side, bring it up for four. Hamstring curl. Jack it back. Use again this side. Jack it back. Give me a little twist right here. Arms up and down. Low impact here, keeping the balls of the feet down. Four, three, two, give me a little football run. Abs in tight. Again. Now, if you want to take the feet out a little wider here, add a little flurry with your arms, that'll get the heart rate up a little more here. Four, three, two, give me knee lifts right and left. Now, one foot's down. If you want to add a little jump in between, add that jump. Pull it down, really crunch that core. Good. Bring it up for four. Four. Three. Squat back. Four. Three. Knees up this time. Squat back. It's a little jump. Bring it up again. Squat back. This side. Remember, you can stay in place for that squat. Bring it up. Take it back. This side. Take it back. This side again. Squat it back. Last time. Take it back. Now we're gonna keep those knees, but pull it down. Eight more, you're gonna give me heel jacks. Four, three, heel jacks right here. Heel. Remember, you can take out the jump. Get those arms up. Breathe. Last set. We're gonna go right into two knees right, two knees left. Here we go. Good. Now bring that knee up and over. Drive that knee up. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna tap it back. Here we go. Tap it back. Good. Still lifting that knee up. Give me a back up in front again. Take it back. Give me heel jacks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Give me that knee up and over again. Up and back. Heel jacks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Knee up and over this side first. Up and back. Heel jacks. Good. This knee up and over. Up and back. Heel jacks. Good. Now just give me this knee up and over in the front. 
Hold these. Remember, if you don't like this up and over, you can just do a double knee. Two more, and we're gonna take it up and back. Up and back right here. And really squeeze those glutes in the back. Drop that knee up. Two more. Give me a little skier shuffle here. Nice and light on your feet. We're gonna go into another burst here. It's gonna be shuffle, shuffle, drop to a lunge. I'll do it from the side. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. Shuffle, shuffle, drop. It's a narrow lunge. Nice athletic arms. Push into that heel. Keep the knee over the heel. If you don't like to drop, just stay with the shuffle. Get that heart rate up, we're almost there. Four more, four, three, two, one. March it out or jump jack here or jump rope. Good. Good. Give me a knee kick on your right. Now knee kick left. I'm gonna add on. I'm gonna do a knee kick right and a shuffle right, and then we'll repeat it left. Here we go. Knee kick, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Knee kick. Knee. Getting that lateral movement in. Try to move those arms. You can even punch it down. Few more. Last one. Shuffle it out. Boom. We're gonna do that high low twist. Right here, up. Crunch that core on the way down. Four more, it's four. Three, two. Give me a bob and weave. Recover a little bit here. Arms up and guard. You're gonna give me a straight punch, bring it up. Give me a hook, bring it back. Punch, bring it up. Hook, bring it back. Jab, bring it up. Hook it back. Now at any time you can make these doubles. So you can make it a double and double hook back. Work that shoulder, bring that elbow out and in. One more set. Bring it back. Give me side knees, right and left. Pull. Crunch that core. So you're leaning away from that knee. I want you to double it up right here, too. Again. Give me four and four. Four, three, other side. Really feel those obliques, four again. Switch. Adding on, four on this side, four squats. Four on this side, make sure you angle that bottom foot, pulse down. So make sure you're picking up your feet, angle this foot, for that side knee. Squat. Side knee. Squat. Now if you want, add a jump. Side knee. And if you want to throw in a kick, squat. Knee kick of four knees. Jump if you want. Woo! Do it again.
again. Jump. Hold these jumps. Here's your burst. Remember, you can do air squats here. Just pump those arms from the side. It's a soft landing. You're jumping from the ground up. Breathe. Eight more. Four more. Give me a jab right. Recover. Nice and light on your feet. Abs are tight. <clears throat> recover. If it's too much with the punch, just recover right here. We're moving into another kickboxing combo. More steady state cardio. Jab, cross. Cross. Jab, cross. So make sure when you cross, use that whole body. Twist through that center. We're going to pick up the pace. Here we go. Bring that hip forward. Punch hard. Get that center. Remember, you're doing this. Working that core. Do it again. Feeling that core. Give me a jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, boom. Good. We're going to add in two kicks. It's going to be jab, jab, cross, kick right and left. Ready? Here we go. Jab, jab, cross, kick, kick. Go back to that guard position. Go back to that stance. Jab, jab, cross, kick, kick. Crunch that core. Again. That's it. Two more. Remember to get that knee up before you extend that kick. Hold your kicks. Crunch that core. Knees are fine here. Target. Push in that heel. Eight more. Eight. right here. Kick, tap. Start with the kick and tap. If you're comfortable with this, you're going to kick and lunge. Smash it down. Now I want you to push down from the shoulder. So from the side, push into that lunge, you're pushing into this heel. Three, two, and one. Woo! 
Let's go back to that bob and weave. Woo. Recover. All right. So we're gonna bring it down in intensity a little bit. We're gonna go to upper cuts forward, crosses back. Let's just start with the squat, down and up. We're gonna start with this arm. Two more. Let's bring it up. Four, three, you're gonna cross it back. Upper cut, bring it up. Cross it back. Make sure you're pivoting through those hips. So notice that heart rate's still up. Do it again now. After this one, if you wanna add that double punch. Only on the way up though. Cross it back, keep your single. Pick it up. Flex to that bicep. Two more sets, just like that. Feels good to work, but also keep that heart rate up at a level you can maintain. Take it back, feel that core. Hold your crosses. Stay low. Eight. Four more. You're gonna give me those side knees right here. Chop, chop. Double it up. Outer thigh faces the ceiling. My grounded leg is on a slight angle. Four and four. Switch. Anytime you want to throw in a kick, feel free. So it's knee kick maybe. If you want. On this side, we're gonna add those squats. Knee, kick, knee, jump if you want, or just air squat. Four knees or add in that kick. Jump squat. Again. Now you don't have to do the kick every time. You can just lift those knees. That's fine. Last time. Hold these. Hold these. Little mini burst. Eight more. Remember, air squats are fine. Four more. Bob and weave. Woo. Good, we're gonna flip it around. Light on your feet, jab. Elbows is in now. Now you can slow it down here. And if you need a little more recovery, just stay light on your feet. Either way, strong punch. Slow it down, jab, cross, slow, jab, cross. Quick return with that arm. We're gonna pick up this pace if you want to. Now, you're feeling it through the whole body here. You're giving that little twist. So we're not just punching with our arms, it's whole body. Engage that core. Stay light on that back foot. Engage that core. Push. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Not yet, but we're gonna add those two kicks left and right. The same arm that starts the punch is the leg that starts the kick. On the next one, here we go. Jab, jab, cross, kick, kick. 
go back to that stance. So we'll bring this leg back. Jab, jab, cross, kick, kick, jab, jab, cross. Remember, knees are fine here. But you want to get that knee up before you kick. Don't worry about the height. Think about the core crunching right there. Two more. Then we're just going to hold those legs in your kick. Hold the legs. Facing front now. I want you to crunch. So you can get that knee up first, or you can just stay with those knees. Target. Again, crunch. Arms are up and guard. Again, eight. Get ready for that kick and tap. Kick and tap. Kick and tap. Pushing it up for me, y'all. Now, if you want to make it more of a lunge, bring it down. Remember, you want to get that knee up before you kick, so a knee might be more appropriate in between. Punch towards the ground. You get kind of quick, so I want you to just punch into that low lunge. Back heels up. Feeling it in that front leg. Back and forth. 
Really feeling that core. Push it down. High and low. And then we can slow this down. You can go up, smash, up, smash. You can play with that timing. Eight more, eight. Shuffle it out. Woo! Good job. All right, we're gonna do two more drills. We're gonna start with the feet together. We're gonna squat out to this side. Do a side in your kick. 16 counts. We'll hold the plank, and then we go to the other side. So it's down, up, squat, up, squat. Four. Elbow block. Make sure you're squatting and moving that leg out and in to get that inner outer thigh. Six more, six. Five. Maybe we should do another set. Huh? Let's do another set. Push. Two sets just didn't feel right. Remember, you can do a knee. Four, three, two, one. Shuffle it out. Woo. All right, we're gonna hold the plank. We're gonna come back and we'll squat off this side. We're gonna come to a plank. Do plank punches to the front. You can do these on your knees or your toes. I'm gonna do them on my toes. Here in a high plank, abs are in, punching out to the front, keeping those hips as stable as you can. Try not to drop your head. Come on, you're in that home stretch. Push, keep those hips stable for more of a challenge. Walk those feet in. Feel those arms, feel your core. Eight, six, four, two, and one. Bring it in. All right, shuffle it out. Do some shoulder rolls here. Open up that chest. All right, we have that squat out to the side. To the side of your kick. And then we're gonna start to cool it down, stretch a little, and move on to straight. Feet together. Remember, both heels are down. Here we go. Take it at your own pace. Don't try to chase that beat. This leg is on a slight angle. Remember, you're blocking. Engaging those muscles in the back. Abs are tight. Remember, we have three sets of eight. So you can pick up the pace if you want. You can do a knee, but I want you to try to get to that squat. We're in that last set. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Shuffle it out. Abs are tight. Shoulder rolls. Good job. Give me an easy step touch right here. Easy. Whew. We're going to add a little hook. Take a little bit of power out. Just want you to engage the core a little bit, bit more here. Now give me two. Two. Good. Bob and weave. Woo! Abs are tight. Might just slow that breathing down. 
Bring the heels forward easy. Dynamic stretch for the hamstring. Arms just stay below shoulder height. Digging that heel out. Extending the leg, keeping the head above the heart. Four more, we're gonna hold it. Four, three, two, hold this one, hold. Now that heart rate's still up. I want you to just stay here, really flex that foot. Maybe push those hips up. And other side. Hips up. Now your heart rate's gonna be up in a different way for the strength portion. It'll be more compound exercises and some static. And we're gonna sit. Good. All right, we're gonna do side to side lunges, but we're gonna pulse for three. So it's one, two, three, other side. Just stretching out that inner thigh a little bit and stretching through that hip. Remember, I wanna keep you moving a little bit because we are not done yet. Breathe. Now, if you didn't want to do the second portion of this and you just wanted to do cardio, finish with these stretches, maybe add some static stretches or a light walk, and then you can be on your way. Same thing with the next part. It's going to be all strength. So you can save this and maybe just do the strength portion on a day you don't want to do cardio or a day you've gone for a run or a walk or something like that. One more each side. This feels good. Last one. And bring it center, deep breath. Exhale, soften your knees one more time. Exhale, good job. We're gonna grab that stability ball, your fitness loop, and your weights. Get some water. I'm gonna just slow this music down a little bit. All right, how we doing? Real sweat. <laughs> so we're gonna mix things up here. We're gonna do abs the whole time. Every time we are doing a strength exercise, I want you to keep those abs in nice and tight. Um, the first exercise we're going to do is going to be a squat with a loop. So I'm going to take this ball, just put it on my weight so it doesn't roll around. Make sure you have everything you need. So if you don't have a loop, don't worry about it. You can do this without the loop. This is again another great tool to have in your home gym. It doesn't take up a lot of space and it is portable. You can bring it with you places and it also is very inexpensive. So we're gonna put that loop right over the ankles. I'm gonna move this to the side a little more. The weights are great to hold that ball up. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna do a squat with a side leg lift. Arms are here. We're gonna go down, up. Notice I keep the band taut. So you always wanna keep the stress on the band unless you're taking a break. Keep going, my shoelace is untied. Keep going. Yeah. Up. So I'm gonna do these from the side. You're squatting down and as you come up, you're keeping your shoulders over the hips as you do that side leg lift. Now pulse it down for three. And lift. Try to keep those shoulders over the hips. Chest is up. Cook it now. Try to lift that leg as you come out of that squat. Two 
two more. Last one. Go back to those singles for a set of eight, seven, six. Squeeze, try not to lock the knees out. Pulse it for three. Lift. We have six more. Four more, control your breathing. Abs are tight. Two more. Last one. Just squat down and up. Four more. We're gonna take that loop off. Three, two, and one. Good job. Take that loop off. You want about a medium tension on your loop and just take that hip up, stretch it out. You don't want to make it too easy. You don't want to make it too hard. But if you add your own resistance without the loop, that works too. You may have to lift the leg a little higher. You may have to engage a little more. Deep breath up. Exhale. All right, we're gonna move into lower body and upper body. So we're gonna use the ball. We're gonna do a chest press in a position that you're gonna work the glutes. So you're gonna go down and up with the glutes and down and up with the arms. So I'm gonna move back. I wanna make sure you can see me. Grab your weights. So it's gonna be a chest press with a bridge. You can also do this on the floor. Okay, so you're going to roll forward so that your head, neck, and shoulders are on the ball. Your hips are lifted. Your arms are to the side. So let's just do a few chest presses just with the legs in that table. Four more single. Then we're going to slow it down and add a hip lift or a bridge. Slow it down and up. Squeeze into those hamstrings and glutes. You may have to reposition your feet like I just did. You want to make sure your feet are right under your knees. You're going to still feel those glutes. Be careful not to lower the arms too much on that chest press. Make sure your shoulder blades are on that ball. You're coming up to that tabletop position, pushing through the glutes and the hamstrings. Two more. Hold the next one up. Now just hold that tabletop position, bring the weights down and up. Just the chest. Down and halfway up, down and all the way up. We have eight of these. Keep strong through the lower body. Keep that tabletop position. Feeling that chest and front delt. Really squeeze those abs and glutes. Three more. Two. Last one. Hold it up. Bring those weights together. Bring the weights into your chest and roll it up safely. Whew. Good job. So you want to make sure you get on and off the ball safely. So let's open up the chest here. Lace the fingertips. Press the back of the hands down. And you can lift the arms up a little bit if you want. Stretching out the front delt and opening up the chest. Good job. Definitely raises the heart rate up a little bit there. Shake it out. I'm gonna grab some water. Woo! Good work. All right. Next one, we're gonna do a deadlift to a row. So we're gonna keep those legs working. Okay. 
and we're going to keep the shoulders and back working. So you're going to grab your weight, but instead of doing a row with your palms facing each other, this one the palms are facing you. So it's more of like an up row, upright row uh, position. So your feet are apart, abs are nice and tight. We're going to do our deadlift, three rows and come up. Here we go. It's down. Two more. And come up. Do that again. Now, if you want more of a bend in the knee here, take it. I want you to imagine the shoulders and back doing all the work here. Pushing into those heels, still feeling those hamstrings. Abs are tight. Two more. One more. Last one. Come on up, roll those shoulders. Next up, we have an Arnold press with a step out, but it's not a squat, it's more of just a step out. You really have to use the core on this one. We're gonna bring those arms up with the palms in, feet together. So we're gonna take these slow, ignore the beat of the music. You're gonna go to an overhead press with the palms facing forward with just a step out to the right and then to the left. Four, three, two, here we go. So we're gonna step, bring it in. Step, bring it in. Keep a slight angle of the weights in front of you so that you're not going directly overhead, even though it looks like you're going overhead. So you're feeling a little bicep here in addition to shoulder. Push. Notice I'm just transferring that weight a little bit. Breathe. It's important to mix up your exercises, not to always do the same moves for shoulders, biceps, chest. Breathe. Seven more. Six. Five. Don't lean back. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Put those weights down. Roll those shoulders. Maybe do some arm circles here. Woo! Feeling biceps and shoulders on that one. Good job. All right, we're gonna keep that back going. And we're gonna add a little bit more chest. We're gonna do a push up to a row. I'm gonna do these on my knees but you can totally do them on your toes. You're gonna to have the weights with the palms facing each other because we already did the rows with the palms with the other way. So this time the palms are gonna face each other. I love these because it's a little bit of a tricep push up to a row. You're gonna work the core, you're gonna work the back of the arm and definitely the back. All right. So have your knees apart if you're doing these on the knees. If you're doing them on the toes, maybe feet apart a little bit. You're gonna have your hands fairly close together. And make sure your hands are right under your shoulders. We are gonna be moving the weight, so you wanna make sure that you don't put the weight out in front, which will stress the shoulders. So bring it in a little bit. Pelvis is tucked under, make sure you're not here. Stay in that good modification. It's going to be a tricep push-up to a row. So you're going to do a tricep push-up to a right row. It's a renegade row with a tricep push-up. A little harder on the push-up because the arms are narrow. So it's a little bit more tricep. I want you to breathe and keep that length out the front of the head. Ignore the feet here. Notice how hard you have to work through the core to keep those hips down. 
So your chest is facing the floor and your hips are like headlights facing the floor. Really row here. Use your back to row. Make sure you're breathing. We have one more each side. Last one. Sit back and stretch. You can take your hands off the dumbbells, stretch your fingertips now. Get a little stretch here through the chest and the shoulders. Come forward. Open up your heart a little bit here. Bring your hands in. Shoulders are down. Stretch those abs a little bit. Feels good. And release. Good job. Ooh. All right. We're going to keep working those triceps. We're going to do a skull crasher on the ground. But we're going to be in a bridge. So you're going to have your feet on that stability ball. So let's bring those feet up. You're going to grab your weights. Now, from here, I should have said bridge. We're not going to do the bridge with the tricep press. We're going to keep our feet up. We're going to do a skull crasher, down and up, for a set of eight. You can go one arm at a time if you want. You want to keep those elbows high. Bridges come next. Two more. Last one. We're going to do a narrow chest press. So you're going to bring it down and then open. We're going to do a narrow chest press and then a chest fly. Opening. Three. Four. We have four more of these, then we go back to the skull crasher. Notice you're working the tricep on that narrow chest press. Almost kind of kiss the rib cage. Now hold it up and give you that skull crasher again. It's nice and slow. Have your tight. Four, four more. Keep that elbow nice and high. Three, two more. Last one, work that tricep. Give me that narrow bench press to a chest fly. Just take these at your own pace. These are not meant to be quick. Especially when those arms are tired. There's a slight bend in the elbow. Really finish the move. Bring it all the way down. Push it up and then open and close. I think we have one more. Now, we're going to take those weights in, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and just gently press them to the side. Take a little stretch over your head for those arms, and we're going to go right into our bridge. All right, so make sure those weights are to the side. Now, you're going to push your ball away a little bit here, so just your lower part of the leg is into the ball and your heel. So we're going to have our arms at our sides. We're going to come up, in, out, down. Up, in, press your heels into the ball. This is for hamstrings and glutes. Also core is working hard here. In, out, down. Up, in, out, 
down. These are tough. Up, in, out, down. Up. I'm going to try to get a little bit more of my back off the ground. It's a little harder to come up to those shoulder blades. In, out, down. You don't need a lot of these. You're going to be a little shaky like me, maybe. But it's important to keep the legs strong, the whole leg, not just the quads. But this is great for the hamstrings. Two more. One more. And bring it down. Good job. You're going to take hold of that ball for your stretch. And you're just going to press gently the shins in. This will feel great on the hamstrings and the glutes here. You can walk it side to side if you like. Good job. All right, we are going to come up. Whew. All right, a couple more exercises for the abs. First one we're going to do is a plank on the ball. Our elbows are going to be into the ball. So you're going to take those elbows. You're going to come up to your toes. You could be on your knees here too. And you're just going to hold and make a little circle with those elbows in one direction. Try to keep your hips still. It's a small circle. Good. Go the other way. Really squeeze that core. I know it's hard. Almost there. Four. Three. Two. Hold that plank. Hold it. Unstable, I know. Breathe. And bring it down. Good job. Ooh, take that stretch. Good job. All right, next exercise, we're going to work a little inner thigh and lower abdominal. So you're going to take that ball between your feet. So you're going to be right here. Just going to move a little bit. And we're going to do a hip lift, which is going to be a little harder with that ball between your knees. I'm sorry, your feet. Take your fingertips above the ears. Before we start that hip lift, just keep the hips down and let's just crunch here. Really engage the legs here, those inner thighs. Gently pressing into the ball. Lift from a lifted position. Now twist it. Shoulder to knee, engage the legs. Keep your hands nice and light. Now hold it up to the center. Hold it up, and we're going to add that hip lift. Use your abdominals to lift those hips up. Now add that twist with the upper body. Legs are still going straight up. I know you're feeling those inner thighs.
go back to the center for a set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to that twist. Eight. Hang on. Four, three, two. Hold it up to the center. Double time with that lift. Oh, fire it up. Keep those legs strong. Eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Oh, grab that ball. Oh, stretch it out. Good job. You did it. Let's take a full body stretch. Ah. Full body stretch. Bring that ball up. Bend your knees. And bring your knees to the right and the ball to the left. Other side. Good job. Pull the ball to the side now. Hug those knees into your chest. Lift your head up. Extend one leg up and the other leg down. Just gently pull that leg in. You can have your head down here. Point and flex the foot. Maybe rotate it around a little bit. And then take that leg across for your four corner stretch. Lift your head back and shoulders up. Reach for this hamstring. Pull gently in. Shoulders down. Open up that hip. Again, you can roll that ankle around. Release it. Other side. And you can roll that ankle around. Keep gently pressing that leg in though. Feel that stretch. And then take that leg across. You can hold these stretches a little bit longer. I know we've been at this for a while. So if you don't do this whole workout at the same time, um, you can do the cardio separately and the weights separately or do them together for a longer workout. Good job. Soles the feet together. Just pull the heels into your groin here. Shoulders are down. Place your feet down. Lift your arms up. Press your soles of the feet into each other. Stay up on those shoulder blades and roll it all the way up. Come forward just a little bit. So from the front, just gently pulling those heels in and hinge forward. And you can take this side to side. Good job. Woo. Come on up. Take a deep breath up. Bring it all the way down. You can come halfway down if you don't like all the way down. Just let it all go here. Soften the knees. Roll it up. Shoulders back. Take a nice big deep breath up. Exhale to one side. Deep breath up. Other side. Deep breath up, and release it. One more deep breath. Hands to your heart. Thank you for joining me today. You did a great job. Remember, do something healthy for yourself that will lead to other healthy things throughout the day, throughout the week, not only for yourself, but for the, those around you. Have a great day, everybody. Hydrate. Have a great day.